Welcome back. We are um, getting ready to play Madman Lugos at Gwent. Well, what is it? Gwent. Know the game? The gull shed off claps. Let's see your duck. It's been a dull day. We'll play for my katakan. Show me what you can do. <clears throat> um, so we've collected pretty much all the cards that we that we want. Um, I can't actually think of anything. At least not that. That's part of the base game that we're missing. Mm. Should probably let him have this round. I mean, I could play this and then a Scorch card. Assuming, of course, that he doesn't uh... Yeah I will just play. Should win this round as well, pretty easily. Well, let's just stop by the store here um, and try to figure out what we want to do what next. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So be it. 
Um, I think I want to have a go at the um, King's Gabbard quest, which is quite long. So let's get rid of as, as much weight as we can before starting that. something specific show me what you got Let's move on to um, King Scambit and try to figure out who's to become the next king or queen of Skellige. Uh, we'll stop by the harbor and drop those witcher swords off. off. Why is the elevator never here? Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. 
After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krako wits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. Need a good slop and... as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Us! Stop your shite, Boston! Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Uh, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, well, they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Drink last night, too? Yes. Uh, so we can um, try our hand at fist fighting these um, big dudes. Let's watch the Elmar for a spell first. Though. Trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so. Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Vild Carls? Who are they? Ah, uh, those wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, Wolf. Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge, Los. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. You 
that good? Hard. Thanks. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Let's uh, check out that sword. It's no good. <laughs> Foreigner. Put her off, white gob. Who do you're taking on challengers in fist fights? Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Uh, hit till our fists are red with blood. Didn't we just have this conversation? Let's do this. Gladly. Mega Masha, oh. yeah. Tear him apart. Yeah. How long are you gonna make me wait? Never have beat me if I weren't five tank guards in. Then bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night's still young. Yeah. Come on. Stop playing with him. Fight good for a continental. Got me eye on you. What is it, Greyhead? Uh, I wonder if the dialogue got a bit mixed up there. Soon as the mood 
Um, oh well, we won. Um, let's see if there's anyone else to talk to here. Respect, which you yes. Where are these goblets from? A temple to the swords, eternal fire. But I prefer me More silver there than in a dragon's hoard. So what? on the continent, they raise temples to fire. Aye, they, they do. More curse. drinking, less garbage. never crumble. We're like this. Could hear the Black One's ship last night. Was, come visit us. We'll show you what a real face looks like. rocks never crumble. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do? So I jumped once on there his are back. No like my blade is yeah, yeah. 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 straight out like a truck. My ears still ringing from the fight. Our granddad slew them all. So I jumped on his back. Yet one. Like my blade in his neck to the hill. Blood sprayed out like a true geezer. Never tried to fish for this. Drink last night too. Would you better than I no, it doesn't look like anyone has anything to say. Finally a chance to frolic a bit. My mind witcher, my conscience clear. Respect, witcher. Years on end he held in thrall. May your axe never crumble. Did you sever his head? Out of a jail. Yes, witcher. Beautifully wrought. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? <coughs> Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Hmm. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Bran's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay, they're as different as fire and water, but on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. 
Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hard-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not step for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. <clears throat> Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine, things to consider. We must find out how this came to be, elsewise we... We've no time for that. 
I know where I find the guilty. Wait, are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. So, here we have a choice uh, between Ceres and Yalmar, and the consequence is that whoever we pick will become the new king. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Ceres. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers from the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty I just a asked that. of bear Sorry. Among... His throat then. We turned... We'll avenge them. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Um, okay, so it doesn't take a genius to figure out that those willed Carls uh, was Pull involved here. Together, uh, and uh, Yalmar has um, no! gone after them. The gates were shut. <laughs> Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly Give killed him. Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. What is the gods doing? Maybe they're punishing. Drogadar. Skald's played his last. May your axe never crumble. Aldrig. Shit. No more than a kid. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Into wild beasts. Berserkers. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. <laughs> His name keeps changing from Halbjorn to Yalbjorn. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stingrim, maybe? Something I've always wondered. What'll you witchers do once there are no basilisks, leshens, or giants around? Eh? May your axe never crumble. We have here bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey before it's fermented. 
Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Got me eye on you. Uh, why can't I examine that? Okay. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. All the horns are empty. May your axe never crumble. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were men who transform into bears. Uh huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Oh. A disgrace. The can we've not seen since the red funeral. Few had died then, and on a yard son of mother. If this turns out to be Crack, I'll twist his head on. If Crack appears to be guilty, we'll try him in keeping with our customs. Aye, and then I'll twist his head. Wanted to. What about? What do you think, Holger? Is not here about salt and herring or the currents round Speaker Rogue? Flap your gob at me again, and I'll shut it for good. Calm down. You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skellige. Speak, Witcher. Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most again. We'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazia to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not <coughs> heard of them having trained bears. This was Krak, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. How'd all of you manage to survive? What you saying? Eh? That we're the ones schemed this up? Shut your gob. You're clucking as foolish as a gander hatching eggs. We survived because we're the best warriors in Skellige. You're both damn fools. If not for the Witcher, None of us would be alive. So long. Freer armor. Need to see 
Freer, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freer, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Ibe. I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Come on. Must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. The castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow, but so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. <laughs> right behind you. That's a relief. Blood. 
blood into mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Can I interact with this? <laughs> Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah. Bygone days. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Oh, this quest is the only way to access this place of power. So if you want to maximize your character, you have to pick Ceres over Yalmar. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac... Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Just gonna grab everything here. Right, so we uh, have some footprints, some clues, um, but we are um, almost out of time, so we'll need to follow these in the next video. I'll see you there.